Three days ago, I flew into Clark, Pampanga, which was my first time flying into Clark. During my three days stay in Clark, I was able to explore and experience the history and culture and style of Clark and its surrounding towns. But that's not my main reason why I flew into Clark. If you haven't guessed it yet, I flew into Clark to attend with Cebu Pacific's inaugural flight into Cagandioro, which will be covered in this video. Stay tuned! Once again, I'm back here at Clark International Airport Terminal 2, which just recently opened about a year ago. And I still can't get over the sheer size of the terminal building, even just looking at the exterior of the terminal building. Anyways, after taking some pictures with the Clark sign just outside the check-in area, we proceeded inside the terminal. And look at their check-in area. It's massive and spacious. Back to check-in, when I went around the check-in area to find an open counter for Cebu Pacific's domestic flights, but all were open were for international flights. So I decided to use the self-check-in machines that were installed nearby. In the machines, there are three airlines that you can check in, namely Philippine Airlines, Cebu Pacific, and Philippines Air Asia. You can either type in your booking reference or scan your itinerary from your phone, After doing those quick inputs and some confirmation, our boarding passes get printed. Before we went to the gate, I explored more around the check-in area. Also, I noticed when I entered the terminal building that the wooden roof trusses were similar to the ones at Mactan Cebu International Airport Terminal 2. And there is our flight, 5G1041 bound for Cagayan de Oro. Also, I noticed airport cleaners are driving around with these floor sweepers and they really enjoy driving around and cleaning at the same time. After passing security, we made our way to our gate and I noticed that along the way there weren't so many shops yet that were open for the domestic side of Terminal 2. I turn around the corner, I got this amazing view of the tarmac with aircrafts of Philippines Air Asia, Cebu Pacific, Scoot, and Qatar Airways Park and Tarmac. And I got a good view of the ground operations. At the same time, I do my normal routine of plane spotting. After recording the time lapse, I went further into the domestic side of the terminal. While exploring, I continued to do my hobby of plane spotting aircrafts arriving and departing, and I also found a spot where I could capture the aircrafts more closely while taxiing to their gates. After exploring around the domestic side of Terminal 2, I head back to our gate since our aircraft has already started its descent to Clark. Surprisingly, our assigned aircraft is not an Airbus A320CO, it's an Airbus A320neo.
Finally, I will be able to ride an Airbus A320 NEO, at the same time experience an inaugural flight for the first time. And over in the distance, I could see something red which is very familiar, which is the fire trucks that will be greeting us with a water salute as we leave Clark. Once the aircraft was ready, that includes staff, the boarding process has begun. As passengers continued to board the flight, I continued to document this momentous occasion which was the inaugural flight. Once most of the passengers were already on board, I followed in, my boarding pass gets Hello. scanned, Hello. and afterwards, I was Thank given you. a pouch by Cebu Pacific. I made my way down and saw that each passenger is given a commemorative item or necklace of some sorts by Clark International Airport employees that includes myself. So I was given a pouch on arrival and there's some sort of, and it will be my first time boarding this inaugural flight to Baganyoro and the line is still long. So in a while we'll be boarding, my first time will be on an Airbus A320 NEO and we'll be boarding the line the side still long. I made my way into the jetway to find out that the line was still long for boarding, but I eventually made my way into the aircraft. Once everyone was settled in in the aircraft, flight attendants closed the main boarding door, and while waiting, I read the safety card of the Airbus A320neo since like I said, it's my first time flying on board this aircraft. After just reading the entire safety card, flight attendants begin their safety demo. Slip vest over the head. Take tape around the waist. Then push and buckle. Pull tape to tighten. When outside the airport, pull inflation tags to inflate vest. Manual inflation is done by means of the red... After the cabin crew performed their safety demo, our aircraft started its pushback onto the taxiway. And in the distance, I could already see the fire trucks that are already in position for the water salute. Up enough clearance from the gate, the engine started to spool up. And shortly afterwards, we began our taxi onto the runway. But not after a quick announcement from the flight deck. If you happen to be on the window pane, uh, please check that there's a uh, water fountain to welcome us for our maiden flight. This is actually a, uh, a vision tradition to uh, welcome our first flight to Kagayan Salamat Bye after the water salute, our aircraft taxi onto runway 20 bound for Cagayan de Oro.
As our aircraft climbs further and higher from Clark, I look at the beautiful scenery of Pampanga. And within a few minutes, we are already flying over Manila. Once we're cruising over the skies, flight attendants start their meal service. And suddenly, the fastened seatbelt sign went on again, which was due to clear air turbulence, prompting them to return to their seats. While we passed through the turbulence, I read what Cebu Pacific has to offer for this inaugural flight. That includes food, beverages, and merchandise. Once the seatbelt sign was turned off, cabin crew resumed their meal service. For this inaugural flight, I wasn't able to order any food on board, but if you have some recommendation, leave it on the comment box below. Also, I browsed through the Smile magazine for Cebu Pacific for the months of May to June 2023. What interests me on this magazine was the airline news part where Cebu Pacific boosted their Clark Hub, prompting to more flights to domestic and international destinations, which I'm on board on these types of flights. Also, some travel tips and routes where Cebu Pacific flies domestically and internationally. Followed by one of the reasons why I love flying with Cebu Pacific is their fun games or trivias on board. This day, we will be having a summer trivia game. Our game is simple. We will ask questions about summer and anything that is related to it. It can be a place, an object, an activity, or food. All you have to do is to give us the correct answer. The first person to raise their hand with the correct answer will win this prize from Cebu Pacific. Get down to our second prize. A summer mask hat that you carry everywhere. You use this to protect your eyes from the sun's glaring light. Plus, it's possible we are in the middle section. Congratulations, and the answer is sunglasses. Down to our last prize. This is known as the summer capital of the Philippines. Also one of the popular places that gives you cool weather all year round. Passable reader at the app section. Congratulations and the answer is Baguio. That includes our fun games. Thank you everyone for participating. Enjoy the rest of the flight. The fun games or the trivias on board, which I did not want in this, for this flight, but I will participate on my next Cebu Pacific flight. As I look out of my window, I saw Legazpi City and Mayon Volcano, but which sadly was covered with clouds when we flew by. Also, I bought some in-flight merchandise to bring back home. Ten minutes later, I realized we were already flying over Cebu area and started our initial descent to Lagindingan. While descending, cabin crews collected the trash around the cabin, And in the distance, I could see the island board of fire, or also known as Kamigin. As we continue our approach to Lagindingan, I noticed that we were circling around outside of Lagindingan Airport. And I asked the captain why after we land, that why we circled around before landing, was because that there was traffic below us, or in other words, there was another aircraft approaching to Lagindingan Airport. But anyways, we are now on our final approach to Lagindingan Airport's runway 27.
gentlemen, we have just landed. For your safety and comfort, please remain seated with your seatbelts fastened until the captain turns off the fastened seatbelt sign. Please check your surroundings to ensure you do not leave your personal belongings behind. As our aircraft landed, I saw something near the terminal, which is very familiar again, which is another two fire trucks, which will give us a warm welcome to Lagindingan Airport with a water salute. Once our aircraft come to a complete stop, ground crew started to connect the air bridge and the air stairs to the aircraft. Once both are connected, the cabin crew opened the front and rear doors, and shortly afterwards, passengers started to deboard the aircraft. But before I deboarded the aircraft, I was allowed into the cockpit and have a quick chat with the pilots who flew this inaugural flight. Afterwards, I took pictures with the crew and thanked them, and I deboarded the aircraft. My mother was also surprised yeah, that I bought some merchandise yes. on board. I brought the banklets. I made my way down to the arrival hall, and I was welcomed and given an echo bag by the Department of Tourism of Northern Mindanao. And I entered into a packed arrival hall. Just before we left the arrival hall, passengers from the Clark to Gagayan inaugural flight were greeted by a dance by indigenous people of Northern Mindanao. Once again, thank you to everyone who supported my channel for the past two years and I hope for more vlogs and videos to come in the coming years. Once again, this is Dan the Explorer. See you in the next vlog. Goodbye guys!